All Star is brought to you in part by Adidas Shoes, the official shoe of the ABA. Waiting under spun glass and webs of aluminum, bottomless nets bear witness to a dazzling display, the remarkable skills of the ABA All-Stars. They come from the playgrounds of Brooklyn and the prairies of Beaumont. They've run thousands of miles to be the best and have developed a multitude of talents to enhance their sometimes enormous size. To an athlete, the challenge of being an All-Star is tremendous encompassing all the aspects of a most strenuous yet lyrical exercise, professional basketball. Foremost, you must have the ability to run and maintain a state of nearly perpetual motion, pausing only briefly to ascend a wall of air that seemingly supports the ball for a flickering moment. Under the boards, every night is like Christmas Eve at Macy's. Only the ball is no gift, it's a fiercely contested prize. Retaining possession of that prize is a much more delicate matter. A ballet of hands and feet to a syncopated rhythm. A rhythm all can dance to, yet each player must try to dance alone. Number 44, Ralph Simpson of Denver, dances himself to 26 points a game. Knowing when to keep the ball and when to pass it is a crucial responsibility. For rapid decisions are the trustees of a player's fortune. Guards like Bill Melchioni are the playmakers, passing to advantage as often as they shoot. To gain the prize, the pursuer must intuit what will take place and what his role must be. The pursuer's task, to keep the ball out of the net, to weave a robe of denial until he gains possession of the ball. Whether the fantasies of the offense is the pursuer's ultimate objective. Away from the rhythm of the ball is a massive struggle to attain it, sometimes resulting in the violent contact among those swept up in its pursuit. To be effective, a player must dispense his strength in disciplined amounts a practice not far into Kentucky's Dan Issel, number 44. Being too aggressive means fouling and costly penalty shots, yet timidity means defeat. Though his exertion is continuous, an all-star forward must renounce all his physical limits in the pursuit of the ball. An all-star must combine with these qualities a basic understanding that defense is a team effort. Players must work together to deny free access to the ball in the basket. To descend as one in inescapable ambush. They must break the flow with a tide of their own, redirect that energy and gain possession. Being effective without the ball separates the all-star from the rest. Mac Calvin, number 20 of the Carolina Cougars, is such a player. Although a modest six feet tall, he still can influence the movements of his larger opponents. He's like a shadowy crowd that expands and contracts, denying his foe free access to the floor. Ball in hand, he is just as determined as they to move with freedom, to pass, to score. Yet his determination is tempered. He knows when to duck, when to strike. Concentration is the music of effectiveness, and effectiveness is the song of Mac Calvin. Offenses have numerous plays designed to lull the defense into a mistake. It's a subtlety of the game that requires patience and practice. For a center like number five, Billy Paltz, 
There is one constitution governing an offense. Find the open man and give him the ball. A pursuer must seize every opportunity to be the open man. Keep the pressure on and never relax. Every play is susceptible to basketball's most contagious event, the fast break. The fast break, a rapid fire chain reaction. A double reverse looping layup. It's looking one way and passing another. It's sacrifice. It's Julius Irving all alone on a gliding arc to the basket. Fast breaks can score points, but basketball thrives on the one-on-one -on -one confrontation. Utah's Willie Wise, number 42, is the fakery and serpentine motion so necessary in a shooter. Not all high-scoring players can mire the opposition in a bog of medicated goo. Carolina's Billy Cunningham employs quite a different, but no less effective style. He charges both ends of the court, exerting influence on a game by continually challenging it. Though once considered a pure shooter, he has become the league leader in steals. And once with the ball, attacks with a portfolio of moves, all of them straight ahead. His shots are textbook Alice in Wonderland. Yet night after night, they keep careening through the hole. This myriad basketball happening was gathered to celebrate the ABA's annual All-Star Game. This one held in Salt Lake City's fabulous Salt Palace. Basketball is a burgeoning professional sport, and the ABA has sought to bring it where the fans are, from the Carolinas to New York, from the Rocky Mountain West to Southern California. The ABA has found a growing audience excited by the kind of team play that the league has fostered. The ABA has become familiar to more and more people, and this All-Star game was a good example why. The East, led by Kentucky's Artis Gilmore, Memphis George Thompson, and Joe Caldwell of Carolina, was able to break away in the second quarter by means of some splendid outside shooting, coupled with an ambitious defense that created several fast-break baskets. Bill Melchione, Dan Issel, and Louis Dampier, number 10, danced through the West and scored at will. Alvin, Cunningham, and Julia Serving maintained a pace that resulted in an 18-point lead well into the third quarter. But East coach Larry Brown noticed a trailing off. Be aware of fourth down. Offensively, the biggest thing is to get the ball moving, make the easy pass, and after you give it up, move yourself. We're standing. We're looking on for best. All right. No silly fouls. Warren Jabali, Rich Jones, number 33, and San Diego's Stu Johnson began to move the ball for close-in baskets. At first, the West splurge seemed a gallant attempt at respectability. But with Zelmo Beatty's rebounding and the hot hands of Willie Wise and Jimmy Jones, number 15, the West got in it for real. With the West scrambling all over the court, Indiana's George McGinnis, number 30, and Mel Daniels, number 34, bank combinations that furthered the process. Really, really, really. 
San Diego's Chuck Williams spotted a wide open Warren Jabali who hit for a three point basket. And the East control of the game began to ebb into a mounting wave of scoring generated by the West. Think about changing sides of the court. No cheap basket. That three-pointer ain't gonna beat us. Just like that. No cheap basket. Now, see, you're just a medium area here, and the same with you, Rich. Warren, you just take it, and work it down. No one player, especially in an all-star game, can erase an 18-point lead. But one can, and in this case did, provide the leadership that is prerequisite to such an undertaking. Warren Jabali assumed command of the floor and directed the fortunes of the West. He organized the offense into steady patterns of movement. He was everywhere, generating steam for the West's 123-111 victory. All-out determination and skillful blending of resources earned for him selection as the game's most valuable player. And over several other stunning performers, notably Willie Wise, Mac Calvin, and Mel Daniels, who has played in every one of the ABA All-Star games to date. Rigorous, demanding, non-stop effort and dedication to the game. That is the hallmark of the ABA player. For Warren Jabali and his brothers in the ABA, to be at the summit of the pro basketball experience is to be called All-Star. All-Star has been brought to you in part by Adidas Shoes, the name in recreational footwear.